Um, just one minute because I need a drink of coffee before I start this. Are you experiencing severe mental anguish? Oh my, oh my. So, uh, we're finally here. The flip through for the Retro Journal. Um, it's a little chunky. Uh, let's see what the gator is. Well, the spine is two inches and the gator is four inches. <coughs> So, I mean, could be worse, right? I had a lot of fun making this journal. Um, I actually left the spine with these showing. I might tie some things on it, but I'm not going to cover it like I normally do. And uh, that is the back. So let's just get to this monster. This took me longer than I expected. Um, so y'all have seen some of this. Uh, I have like a little tag here, a guest check, uh, some little uh, cutouts from a menu, I mean a recipe book. And this is also from a retro recipe book. I put lace or a uh, trim on the sides of the covers of the signatures. So we have another tag here and a guest check. Um, all of the 60s stuff I got out of a magazine. And um, this is from a real tape measure. I just happen to have an orange tape measure. <laughs> this is a little bookmark. And I got this out of a magazine. A Clorox ad. Thought that was cute. Let's see. I cut her out of a 40s magazine actually and put a chicken noodle soup can in her hand. Now, for scale, I would say that this can came from Sam's. <laughs> <laughs> or Costco. Um, I just put cards. There's um, a lot of these cards that don't have a paper doll on it. But I thought it was cute. And we have these little bookmarks, and they have the rivets, or eyelets, should I say, in it. Here's a little envelope with a little card, and this is just another little journaling card behind this guy. I have to tell you, this journal actually has tons of writing space, believe it or not. You serious, Clark? So I'm kind of proud about that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So there's a guest check. Um, I found these in the magazines. They're just those little mail-in, you know, to order the magazine or whatever. I thought that I would add those. Um, Learn to do macrame for only 25 cents, y'all. Um, we should we should hit that up. There's a lot of writing space, like I said. Here's another little card. This photo came out of a yearbook. And these pockets, the ice cream cones and the cupcakes, the base is embossed and the top is um, fabric. So there's more writing space and a little guest check in the envelope and this all of the yearbook uh, pages and yearbook stuff uh, the yearbooks are from Texas so it's either from Arlington Texas Dallas Texas or Irving Texas so 
right here we have a little piece of paper that you can write on this is actually I think out of no this is a copy from the yearbook and I found a little vintage ketchup bottle and it is made with pineapple and distilled vinegar uh, I did not know that I don't know if it's still made with pineapple but that's kind of weird and a guest check I don't know what I was <laughs> y'all I struggle with retro okay so don't judge don't judge on this um, I did the best I could so I don't know what's going on here the floating faces <laughs> and the cake but you know Here's a recipe for orange sauce, and I love the journaling cards. I love them because I love the old, you know, vintage, the housewives. And this paper I actually got from uh, Denise Garcia. Thank you, Denise. It came in handy, girl. And all of these tabs, these well tails, came from Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. I put, I used the heck out of these well tails in this journal. So thank you, Dale and Denise. Um, again, I I took this out of a magazine, and I put the uh, I don't know what you call these mail-in order forms. I made that as a card. Y'all know I like to leave the, I need to erase the numbers still. Um, and of course, like I said, I'm still gonna address the spine somehow. But I leave the, um, the middle of the signatures blank for you guys to do whatever you want to it. Uh, this I got out of a magazine and I just love the colors I thought it was really vibrant and we made the life box into a, ta or a journaling card and this is a journaling card and this is just a retro looking piece of paper that you can write on and it says, hold tight and pretend it's a plan. Who doggy? Which is what I'm doing right now. This, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, we're winging it right now. Uh, peace, you know, peace. Um, this is a little, is this a pocket? Yes, this is a pocket. This is a pocket, pocket, pocket. So it's a quadruple pocket here. Um, I had to quit. I had to quit adding stuff to this journal because it was getting too thick. So there are some spots where you could still add or take out of or whatever you want to do. I love these. They remind me of the Tim Holtz, and I just made these like little journaling cards to put in behind them. And like I said, tons of writing space, y'all. Writing space, writing space, writing space. I, uh, lots of writing space. Believe it or not, as thick as this thing is. But I think I just added way too many pages in this because I did take out, uh, so... Yeah, writing space, writing space, writing space. Here's a little tag and a journaling card. And I took this and this out of a, a vintage magazine. And you've got journaling cards right here. And journaling cards in this pocket and we are on to the second signature I just put some blank guest checks in here um, 
but uh, there are guest checks in here that are decorated. You know, they have like little paper dolls on them. But I wanted to leave some or add some blank ones. Here's the blank one. That one's actually coffee stained. And this is another one of those um, just coffee stained retro papers. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Yes. And another journaling card. Another, I love the colors on that one. Another journaling card. A guest check journaling card so the pages that are like real busy and there's no you know space to write there there is space to write you know the journaling cards things like that here's a little envelope another tag um, some writing space uh, a little Brillo journaling card and then another one of those magazine insert things. Um, a little guest check. A baby guest check. Some journaling cards. These are the ones that were... Uh, I think we did this on a craft with me. And Sharon Jenkins is right here. And this is just an envelope that we... Uh, it's an empty envelope that you can add whatever you want. And writing space. This right here I took out of the yearbooks, made a copy of the signature pages where everybody writes, you know, their well wishes. And we uh, distressed it and we're just going to add it to the side of the page. And you can write on the other side of that. And writing space. I did a lot of stenciling in this journal. This is signature number two. <laughs> we'll get rid of those. Um, and then my little tea bag tags. Writing space. A yearbook journaling card. And another journaling card journaling card here's a blank guest check and a lot of writing space I mean it's kind of crazy how much writing space is in this with as much stuff that's in this So there's another journaling card and a magazine insert and another journaling card. More writing space, little tickets. And here is a guest check. More writing space. A little quaint and you can put this is like a little tuck you could put something in there and these are the decorated guest checks and this is the end of the second signature third signature here's a little sprite bottle that you can journal on and here is a little guest check and a a recipe for lemon sauce so that's kind of cute and here's a little tag with the rivets or eyelets and that is um, stenciled and another decorated guest check and this is a real uh, vintage bingo card 
and just a little tag that you can journal on. And these came out of a magazine and we just card stocked them. This is a little bookmark with the eyelet and the popcorn uh, pocket. Another guest check. Another journaling card. I'm not sure what's going on with this little guy. <laughs> Are you experiencing severe mental anguish? I kind of feel like him right now. There's Glenda. More writing space. This right here. Boulder Dam Hotel. Complete steak dinners. Two dollars. Completely air conditioned. Boulder City, Nevada. Okay, who wants to go, y'all? <laughs> we can get a two dollar steak. These days, that's kind of scary. Um, this I cut out from a, a magazine, a vintage magazine. This guy right here, he's kind of squinting. I don't know if that's a mean look or I'm not sure what's going on with this gentleman. A journaling card, writing space. Lots of writing space. Can y'all believe how much writing space is in this? So you have a little tag and a journaling card. More writing space. These I got out of a uh, Archie, a little comic book, and so. Those are little journaling cards. Moon Pie is iconic. This is the middle signature. Another Archie journaling card. Writing space. Little guest checks. Uh, these little ladies we put uh, on this one. Take risks. Stay curious. Stay strong and be brave. P.S. Crafting heels. And a housewife from one bookworm to another. And this is another one of those signature pages that you can write on the back. And more writing space. This guy looks pretty happy that we're almost finished. <laughs> There's Pat. Writing space. Another little note card. Um, this is a time card, but we made it into a tag. And you've got decorated little journaling cards here and Paul signed his name. This is a yearbook page or this came out of a yearbook and Paul signed it and then the back we have this came out of a 40s magazine and we just made little journaling cards out of that and then this came off of Pinterest. They're like little matchbooks and we just made little journaling cards out of those. That is it, y'all. That's it. We did it. We did it. We really, really did it. So, um, I am going to, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, I know it sounds like I'm a little off today. I am. Um, this this was a struggle, this one right here. And I don't even think it's like one of my better uh, journals. You serious, Clark? So, but uh, you know what? I did it. 
so I'm very proud of myself and uh, so I'll be putting this up on eBay and we are finally y'all we are finally getting on to the 50s journal um, it's going to be explosion of pink and Marilyn Monroe uh, we're gonna have a blast doing the 50s I'm pretty sure <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, different flip through I hope everybody is doing well and we'll talk to you guys later bye